show your support. Follow me on Twitter. Hello, I am That British Guy and welcome back to One Pound Wonders. In this series I find a game for only one pound and I try it out for 30 minutes. At the end of that 30 minutes I see if I feel it is a one pound wonder or a one pound blunder. This time around I will be playing Mirror's Edge on the PlayStation 3. So let's begin. So here we are at the main menu. I will begin the 30 minutes now. And let's begin. Um, ah, let's just do normal, I guess. Yeah, let's do normal. Recommended for most players. Yeah, we're only trying it for 30 minutes anyway. Might as well see what it's actually like. Logging chapter. Once the city used to pulse with energy. Dirty and dangerous, but alive. Now, it's something else. The changes came slowly at first. Mm -hmm. Most didn't realize, or didn't care, and accepted them. They chose a comfortable life. Interesting art style. And those who refused to conform were pushed to the sidelines. Okay. Criminalized. They became our clients. We call oh. ourselves runners. We exist in the edge. Between the glass and the reality, the mirror's edge. We keep out of trouble. Oh, okay, so we kind of do dodgy dealings. We see the city in a different way. We see the flow. Rooftops become pathways and conduits. So it's like parkour stuff. The flow is what keeps us running. Cool. It keeps us alive. Okay. Interesting concept. So basically, yeah, I know you hate it, but that fall took you out of commission for a while. And now you're back, you gotta keep sharp, especially in this city. Check out these new training grounds, pretty slick, huh? Oh, uh, okay, okay, so you get a training get area. Just go with the flow, okay? It's a barbed wire everywhere. L1 is for upwards movement, such as jumping. Try to jump. Downward movement, such as crouching. Alright. Select or open objectives. Learn the basics of movement and momentum. Run of vision shows your movement and interactive opportunities. Keep your eyes open for red objects. Oh, did that badly. Okay, so I timed that really, really badly. Oh, okay. So if you keep pressing circle, <laughs> oh that didn't work. Oh, maybe didn't make that. These controls are like nothing you've... Whoa. Oh, I don't like that. Nope. Oh. Really? I've got to hold my controller perfectly? Yeah. Oh, 
these controls are really, really different from... Like, not jumping with an X button is really weird to get used to. Missed. But I'm obviously jumping far too early. L1 to jump to the red crossbar, automatically grab it and start swinging. Three quick presses will get you up here. Wall run, turn, jump. Ah, got it. Yeah, walk around the ledge. It's quite a nice cityscape. Okay. Fair enough. <coughs> Am I near the end at all? What? I didn't even do anything. Why did it fail me? Jump to the zip line and automatically crap. Sign though, show you. Damn it. Okay. 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 Coil up and make yourself smaller in the air. Jump to coil over the barbed wire ahead. Right. This will smooth out your landing. close to the oh when close to the ground ah there we go damn it oh it's really difficult to read these instructions and then do the thing at the because it wants one kind of nice smooth movement but you need to read the instruction because you don't know it before you do it. Okay, so there is combat. 
You can string together moves and taxes will make your you more effective in All combat. Right, Let's run through some weapon designs. God, really? <sighs> Triangle is disarmed from the back. Is it X disarmed from the front? and the weapon turn red timing is very important. Didn't even see then. Square slow motion when reaction time is available. This makes it easier to disarm. Running generates reaction time. Okay. Training, ladies. Oh. Gotta get to the real thing. Blimey, is that it? This is so not Faith, gonna work, is it? Let me know when you're ready to get going. See you later, Faith. I bet I start, I guess. Play game. Right. I guess that's important to do because the controls for that are very different to kind of what you're used to. Like you would assume that you wouldn't be using shoulder buttons to kind of run and jump and kind of skill your way around. They're usually sort of saved for the face buttons, but okay. At least they gave you an opportunity to kind of get used to it. And I'm guessing that the first couple of missions hopefully aren't too taxing. As it said, the um, the difficulty of normal only really makes the combat harder. So the map is still going to be the same, isn't it? I suppose it might give you a little bit more forgiveness in terms of uh, timing, maybe. Who knows? I just need to aim for all the red things, it seems, going forward. Right. What am I doing? What am I doing and where am I going? Yeah, yeah I'm sure the birds are real impressed, today, but once you finish showing off, I think you might concentrate on some actual work. Get to left in position for a hand on. You need to get the delivery to I don't know where you're... Oh, that didn't take long. Splat. Can we try that again? that. <laughs> Didn't see that until I jumped. Oops. I got a new trophy though. Oh come on. Why didn't I make that jump? Up 
You know where there is, so forgive me. Ah, uh, don't make me start all the way from the beginning. This isn't annoying much. Bags are hidden in stash points for collection or discarded by runners in trouble. Runner glyph will indicate a stash point is nearby. Well, I wish it would have told me that. Should always try and get away from hostiles. Enemies you need to get through are marked in red with runner vision. Fight them or run past them. Stop shooting me! Oh wow. Okay. So I can't outrun these guys then.
Damn it! Why did that not shoot when I tried shooting? Try again then. Is their color obviously? What? I'm getting the hang of this now. Get to the left. There are more blues on the way. Oh, I am. Hey, throw me the bag. Okay, I got it from here. Okay, they're playing rough cell. I'll be fine. Can I go now? Bye. Oh, that's a helicopter. No. Oh, I need to grab hold of the helicopter, don't I? As soon as I jumped, I realised that. I need to grab hold of the... Uh... Come on, Faith. on I was lucky they didn't have a rifle that they could have picked me off of from on the roof there. That wasn't too bad, I only died a couple of times, but I'm still getting used to the controls. Oh. Now I've got your uh, blood pump in though. It's good. Nice high octane uh, sort of mission at least, and type of game. So the cutscenes are sort of Semi cartoony? Yeah. Going to see Pope. Robert Pope. Taking a statement on that break in last week? Yeah, anyways, it's uh, 56 West Arlen Drive. Tell Lieutenant Miller. Copy that. I'll relay the message, Officer Connor. Thanks. Connor's out. Mm. Interesting. Hey, Mark. Thought you're listening to the chatter. Kind of looks a lot like, um. This is the police, but obviously with a bit of facial, uh detail put in as well that's quite nice and in terms of the map as well I mean there's plenty of games where you can just play through an open-ish world or bits of levels that are just a city but to be moving sort of from building top to building top is a very different way of, of kind of doing the whole city map thing. It's quite nice change of pace. Someone's behind you. Mark. You off? Just get on comms and track them. So I've now got to hunt down a friend then who's possibly being shot at. Almost there. West well, any time you'd like to tell me where there is and what the hell you're doing, feel free. It's my sister. Ah, uh, okay. I'm gonna see if I can figure out what's going on. Give me a second.
I jumped too early again. That is the one thing I need to just work my timing out on. I'm kind of used to being able to jump a little early and the game kind of takes care of the rest, but this is very, very specific. If you mess it out, if you mess it up at all, it will punish you. jumping off there properly. <laughs> I don't know for momentum. <laughs> Literally no idea where I'm going. Oh, there. Use X to interact with buttons, or like in this elevator, you can interact with various buttons and values, uh, valves in this game. Oh, okay, so it's literally just a... <laughs> Oosh! No. That's how I press buttons, just by Oosh! <laughs> yeah, 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 just get me up. Come on. Come on. Oh, something's not good. Hello. Is anybody here wants to shoot me? Anybody? Oh, I see a person. Kate? Oh. What are you doing here? What happened? Did you? No. You don't recognize him? Should I? It's Robert. Robert Pope, friend of Dad's. Shit. Ooh, no good. He called me. We haven't talked much since I joined up. He had a break in last week. He's still a campaigner. Don't you read the news? It's not news anymore. It's advertising. He was running from there. Oh, so she's a really blue then. person. That's what I thought. But it was odd. He told me about the break in, asked me to come, then asked him. Really? I haven't seen him for at least ten years. Anyway, he was alive when I got here. Just sitting at his desk, writing. Everything went black. When I came to, he'd been shot. And I'm pretty sure it's with my gun. Oh, there was a book good. on the desk. A diary. It was gone. I'm sure there was someone else in the building. Left my radio in the car. Haven't had time to phone it in. Come on. Come with me. I'll take you somewhere safe. This isn't the time to run. I'm not like you. Running will just make me look guilty. You think this was an accident, Kate? There are no accidents in this city. Mm. Someone wanted him dead and wanted you to take the fall. Help me, Kate, please. You've got contacts. There's got to be more to this. Something he knew. Something he wanted to tell me. I can't get involved in this, Kate. You know what I do. I just quit. Can't. Blue's incoming, Faith. You might want to be outgoing right about uh -oh. now. Blue's incoming. As in cops. Nope. If this goes down badly, find Lieutenant Miller, my superior. Take anything you find to him. I'm serious, Faith. Remember, they're not playing nice. Get out of there. Now go! Get the hell out of here. Thank you. Not great facial graphics, considering this is a PlayStation 3 game. If you are stuck and need guidance, holding the circle will point you in the right direction. Shit! Get 
Oh. Just as it was getting interesting, the 30 minutes has elapsed. Well, um, what can we say about Mirror's Edge? It's certainly very different from any game I have played before. There are plenty, as I was saying, kind of cityscapes where you're going from objective point to objective point or there is a sort of set level space and you've got to do certain bits within that level before moving on to the next one with a few bits of sort of cutscenes in between um, but this feels very very different in terms of the gameplay the story obviously it's setting up this big who done it here with the sister involved as well it's nice that we got the tutorial bit at the beginning. Apologies for the fact that it took me a little while to get a grasp on the controls. But as I said, it is very different from anything that uh, you're kind of used to playing, certainly with this control scheme. So that was a good feature at the beginning and presumably is completely skippable later on. And as you saw at the end of there, if you're still feeling you want a bit more time with it, you can kind of play about in that mapscape before starting the actual game but all in all for only one pound this has to be a one pound wonder it was very easy to just kind of pick up and go with mainly because of that tutorial the storyline is instantly kind of gripping the world that they have set up is very intriguing with this kind of 1984-esque kind of totalitarian state that oversees everything and you're kind of living on the outside of that is very very interesting the gameplay is nice and different i would even potentially go as far as to say unique i've not played anything personally like this if you come across this game for only a pound or maybe only a little bit sort of above that say under five pounds then i would strongly suggest buying it and trying this out for yourself. Until next time though, I have been that British guy and I will see you very soon. Goodbye.